Hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to Cosmic Fox ASMR. My golly, it has been a while since I've posted uh, my ASMR journey to the end, but here we are. And in today's episode, we are going to be curing this lovely zombie villager that I came across. Uh, but first, in order to do that, I need to get some blaze powder. So, while I was exploring in the nether, I checked my map and I seen a nether fortress. Kind of far, but not too, too far. So, the adventure today is to make it to that nether fortress so that I can get some blaze powder and maybe some other potion making ingredients. Um, so, let's get started. Right, now, I am unfortunately in near a lot of lava, so even though the map shows um, that there is a lot of ground, if you look on my mini-map in the top left, lots of lava showing. So, I will use the path that I made before to um, get myself a little bit higher and away from the lava. Hopefully, nothing too dangerous will be waiting at the top for me. Okay, I see some piglins. That should be okay. I want to stick to the um, warped forest as much as possible. So I just need to find, hopefully, an easy path up. Oh gosh, there are so many Endermen. more lava. Let's see, will it be an easy... Oh my. Oh wow. Mm. Yeah. Unfortunately, that path doesn't seem viable, so best to go a different way. And might as well collect some of this glowstone. You know, besides building these blocks with the glowstone, is there any other use for it? I actually am not too sure. Because I never use it for anything. If I want light, I just get um, the shroom lights. Hmm. Oh wow, higher up than I thought. Okay, well, might as well keep going up as far as we can, I guess. Wow, 
are still a long ways to go. Maybe I shouldn't have broke those glowstone blocks because it is very dark now. see anything. Oh, I think we finally got somewhere there. See some light. Uh, well, thankfully we weren't in the dark for too long. salt area of the nether. Wow. It's so vast. Hmm. And how to get there. Yeah, I think I might have to stick to the left. Yep, go northwest. Might need to go a little bit down. Oh wow. And might need to start making a makeshift stair downward. some stairs now from this angle to easily get back up. There, that should hopefully do it. Oh my. Well, going down I guess. Gather some more shroom lights. You can never have too many shroom lights. Let's start going down. Wow, this tree has so many shroom lights. so high up. I have no idea how I'm going to get back up there. I mean, I can make a little makeshift stair stairs again, but Having to get all the way back up there is going to be its own challenge. Let's check the map. Oof, still. 
still a long ways to go. Traveling around the nether is my least favorite adventure. I do like exploring it, but it's, um, it's so dangerous. Ooh, I wonder if I can get some uh, magma cream while I'm over here. If you haven't noticed, <laughs> uh, I will try and get everything beforehand, even if I don't necessarily need it right now, just so I don't have to <laughs> explore longer than I need to, or multiple times. Anything to keep me from coming back to the nether. Right, Magmas, why don't you just come away from that lava for me? I need to be careful. I don't want to knock them into the lava, just in case they do drop any. Hmm, I'm not sure if it's the area that I'm in, but I've got some frame rate drops happening. Oh, darn. Darn. No magma cream this time. Let's see if I can get that little guy. Nothing again. Okay, well, back to the original plan. Let's see. Oh, oh good, we're more than halfway at least now. Hmm, now see what I mean about so much lava on the mini-map? The larger map, it doesn't show that much, which means I probably need to make my way up a bit more. So let's carve some stairs into this mountain. Terrifying. My goodness. Re 
reason 319 why I dislike being in the nether. I mean, if only you can see how tense I am holding these shift keys so that I do not fall. And yet, I still forget and let go. <laughs> the warped blocks so much. They're so pretty. I will definitely collect as much as I can as well. Even though my nether portal is in a warped forest. Okay, I think I'm going in the right way. It's so hard to tell. It's gotten very dark. And definitely want to make a ledge for myself to prevent any accidents. Let's check again. Oh, about a quarter left of the way. Excellent. Now oh, I just want to place a bit of a marker so that I know which way I need to head back and find my little my little hidey hole stairs. <laughs> If I just keep following, it'll keep taking me higher. So, so close now. But I also don't want to rush, even though I feel like I'm super close now, just in case there's anything super dangerous, oh, like this Enderman that just wants to block my way. now. This is good. But I'm wondering if I need to go up even more. Possibly. Oof. But I'm, I'm, I'm right there. Definitely right there. I've had 
some good luck just, you know, powering through, through mountainsides, but, um, yeah, this, this I'm not too sure, oh, oh, I think if I just start going up, I should make it inside. It's so dark. I really didn't, um, come equipped as much as I should have. I do not have many torches left. Yeah, but I can't really tell if I need to go up or down. Okay, I've made it. Oh, wow. Not I'm entirely sure how I'm getting out, but we will figure that part out later. Okay. Oh, I do not like being in here. But let's put a marker of some sort signify where I did come from and hopefully aid me to sort of escape if anything bad follows me. I definitely try and over prepare when I'm in the fortresses. Especially wither skeletons. I think out of everything you can come across in the nether, wither skeletons are not my favorite. Gosh, it's so dark. And I have no more torches. Okay, take it slow. Any baddies off. That cast sounds so close, but I don't see it. Hmm. I think I need to go more to the right. There's some light up here for me. It's so eerie. Eerily quiet, eerily dark. Oh, blazes. That's the noise I was hoping to hear eventually. off some light, so I'm not sure if they're up or down or behind a basalt wall, maybe. I'm not too sure which way to head just yet. So I might need to explore the fortress just a teeny tiny bit. So, from the looks of it, I think they're in that little room to the left. So, I might just need to dig my way over to the other side.
the places are sounding much louder now. But it's so dark. Hmm. Okay, I think if I go straight and then to the right. I am using the mini-map to sort of guide me through here because I have no torches. Stairs? Nope. These are my old stairs. Darn. I got turned around. Okay. Let's just keep going forward a bit. Um, let's, oh, I see where there's skeletons. Okay. Need to be a bit tactful here. I definitely want to lure them. Oh, oh, wasn't quick enough, darn. Yep, and I panicked. <laughs> yep, the, um, the fear definitely got the best of me just then. But luckily, I think this was still worked out. Oh, nice. Unfortunately though, I think that was only one out of the two wither skeletons I saw over there. Okay. Now to Clean up my panicked mess. I forgot how you usually set up a barrier for the weather skeletons. So at the minute, I am just doing my best to stay alive. Not too sure where he went. I might need to go get some torches real quick because this is making everything ten times harder and we don't need that. Not in here. So, I'll be right back. Okay, well, I, silly enough, to, did not uh, hit record when I got back to the fortress. Uh, but I did run into a blaze. And luckily, I managed to remember to hit record. So, as you just seen in the beginning, I um, I got a blaze rod. But 
This was because when I actually got back, that missing wither skeleton was hiding and I did not have time to uh, make a barrier and had to run for my life. Um, and I accidentally stumbled upon the blazes in doing so. So that is why uh, you missed just a bit of the action of getting that blaze rod. And now I need to try and figure out how to get back and these zombie piglins are not helping. I do tend to leave them alone, but they were just in my way and I already had a rough time getting back here. One blaze rod, I don't think is going to be enough. So I need to try and lure that other blaze to get here. I am a bit lost still. Oh gosh. Oh, there's so many zombie picklins. Okay. Now to see if I can get those please to um, kind of follow me. Really difficult to take out, at least with the tools that I have. Because I'm still rocking the iron tools. And I do hear a wither skeleton. Need to be extra careful. through the little windows to see if any blazes are there. Oh, there's one. Okay. Oh, must be careful. Oh, got me. so quick. Let's see, do I have any arrows? Mm. closer. Oh, where did he go? Oh, there he is. I cannot take my time to make the plans. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. That might have worked, but I really need to stop getting hit by those fireballs.
let's try going the other way. able to reach, but I did block them at least. Did I get him? I need to go check. Oh, I did. Yes. Okay, let's do blaze rods. I mean, ideally, I would like to get maybe five before I leave. But I guess that all depends on if I find any more and well, I take them out, which isn't very well. Oh, and I really don't want to run into any more wither skeletons. Oh, like one right there. Oh dear. Oh, let's see if I could just get him to follow me. just the one. Uh, no, there was two. Hmm. I think I was a bit too fast for him. Let's see if we can... Get him to follow. Oh gosh. Gotta check around the corners. Oh, here he comes. Oh, wait, where did he go? Where? Why isn't he following? Places are much louder up here. Hopefully that means their spawning area is um, here as well. skeletons are three blocks high, so I only need to put 
the blocks three blocks high to block them. Oh, oh and I got my very first wither skeleton head. Nice. There's another blaze. Uh -oh. I'm a little nervous to push my luck to try and get five blaze rods, so I, I mean, I at least hope that I can get this one and have three. seen a wither skeleton. I hope that hit. It's very far away now. Oh, I think I made the wither skeleton fall. Hmm. I just don't know if I should push my luck or not. Getting any more might just... I mean, I've made a way to get here at least. And I have two. Yeah, I forgot I had to use some of my shroom lights to make my way back up. But I definitely made a much better way to, um, get here safely and efficiently. I think I just made too many ways. <laughs> design. Okay, this is starting to look familiar. Oh, there. Oh, so much better. I'm free. That was... So scary, but with having the um, Zero's map mod able, enabling you to put markers on the map, so helpful, so helpful. 
when you get easily lost in places like the nether. So that's where I'm headed. I'm just heading for the N marker for nether to mark my nether portal. And there's one of my little markers right there. Indicating I am going the right way. Though, I'm not sure if it was up, around, down. Oh, it was down. Good, good, good. Okay, yeah, this is looking familiar. Even though I wasn't in the nether fortress that long, it feels like it. I've already forgotten how I got there and back twice. <laughs> And now, just to get back to the overworld safe and sound with these blaze rods. Must be careful and ensure that we take our time, even though I really want to be as quick as possible. Especially with how far we have. Oh dear, I think I've angered some. really need to be careful when you're looking at the map in the nether because you will anchor the enders. boy. Oh, is that him? I can't tell. I think so. Oh, okay. Okay. That is over. I wanna really want that, that block I'm gonna get rid of. Okay. Hopefully no more angry enders. No, it still sounds like an angry one. Should I? Wow. Okay. Made it back. Ooh. That took a long time. But we are here. We got the ingredients we need to make this zombie into a villager again. Head back into the overworld to do some brewing. Oh. And of course, greeted by many, many zombies. Not ideal.
let's use the water elevator to give up. Hello, animals. Good to see you're all well. Y'all, oh, they're so cute. Right. We've got our brewing stand. Let's go get the other ingredients so that we can make a splash potion of weakness. Definitely need to make some room in the inventory. So let's put some of this away. ones. Alright, we've got the golden apple. We've got spider eyes, which we will need to turn into a fermented spider eye. I think my brown mushrooms were in. Oh. I think it's brown mushrooms, right? Best to double check. Mushroom. There they are. Okay. And we will also need a glass bottle. There's the glass. Got our glass bottles. Let's make some blaze powder. Our fermented spider eye. And I think that's all we need. Yeah, I think it's time to brew. I've actually never made one of these before. So let's see if I do this correctly. So we need to put the water bottles in the bottom and then uh, oh, we need the blaze powder to activate it, right? Oh, but first, um, Get the fermented spider eye. Yep. Okay. And get the blaze powder. I think that's is that what you do to activate it? I don't know. It looks to be doing something. Oh, okay, so you don't need the blaze powder for that bit you do when you add the gunpowder to make it a splash potion of weakness. I don't know, I had to read the, I think the Minecraft Wikipedia or the fan page to learn this. Honestly, I did not know what I was doing, but it um, seems to be working. Oh, look at that, we've got splash potions. Oh good. Okay. And an achievement. Nice. Righty, time to get back to our zombie villager.
made it back. Unfortunately, the zombie has a friend that we will need to get rid of before we start. We got an interpearl out of it. Oh, look at that cute little fella. So cute. If I could bring you into the overworld, I would. Okay. Right. I am a tad nervous for this next part. Let's see. Give it a go. Okay, then we get the apple. There you go. Okay, I'm familiar with that sound, so I think that means we did it right. And I guess we just wait a bit for the potion and apple to take effect on it. I don't remember how much time it said it would take, but I do know it takes quite a bit of time for the effects to um, change the zombie into a villager, but I'm okay with waiting. And there we go. Ooh, a zombie doctor. Nice. Oh, and it looks to be a jungle villager. Cool. I'm actually so excited. I can't believe I did it. Yay. I've got a villager. And I didn't have to go too, too far, surprisingly, to get one. Just hop in my boat and bring them into the overworld. I've actually never brought people from the nether to the overworld, but I thought that you use a boat to do it. Do they, do they have to be out of the boat? Um, hmm. I'm a little stumped. I was sure that that's what you do, but, um, well, I honestly don't want to waste any more time, so I'm just going to make a makeshift, um, room, I guess, and try and push him into the nether portal. Some more blocks. to get myself in here somehow. Oh, 
Okay, let's try and break the boat and see if this will get him into the other side. from escaping to keep him safe. So let's put the boat down and I hope he climbs in. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. I was hoping that wouldn't be too difficult. Wow, but um, oh my, I'm not too sure how I'm going to get this villager up to the above area. That is going to be a bit of a challenge, but um, Thank you all so, so much for joining me on this adventure, and I do hope that you all have a good morning, a good evening, or a good night. Until next time, bye!